In this one I'm going to show you how to fix a loose DV port on a Canon XL2 3CCD prosumer video camera from about uh, 20 years ago. Let's check this one out. We start out by removing all the Allen keys on the right hand side of the camera. So there are a few that need to be removed. We're also going to need to remove the microphone plug screws on the back and the shoulder mount. This all has to come off so that the camera can be split in two so we can access the DV port on the back because this one's come loose and in the case of this one the screws have come out completely and they are missing in action. Okay, I've got a couple small screws. A little screwdriver where I can get a little more torque on this. There we go. That board's in nice and tight now. It's not going to move anywhere. We can now reassemble the camera. Just slap it back together. Now I can start to reassemble all these screws that had to be taken out to open this unit up.
The only thing I can think of with those two missing screws is that uh, they fell out through the tape door at some point and the previous owner never bothered to uh, get checked out. This had been, uh, I think, was used probably by a school with uh, ARCSS on there, some secondary school, I would think, it's who owned this camera before, and uh, it was probably used by students and manhandled by students and so forth, and parts fell out and was never reported or repaired, or they just kept using it as it was with the loose uh, DV port on the back. together. Good as new. I mean, I'll bring this camera in and I'll plug it into my computer and see whether it detects the, uh, the camera. And we have a picture. Here's the capture window. Got my hand in front so you can probably hear an uh, echo from the audio from my headphones. So we're getting the sound, getting the sound from, the camera, from the camera being picked up by, the, picked camera up by the camera microphone and uh, that's the delay getting into the computer. So we verified that uh, the camera is now working. So if you got a loose uh, uh, DV jack on these cameras, good chance that those screws have fallen out. Just uh, that's how you pop it apart to uh, put the screws back in or put some new ones in. Here's something I think, this is playback of the tape by the way, I figured I'd put a tape in. Just verify that the tape is playing properly through the DV port, which of course it is. Uh, here's something I did note though, on this um, Canon camera, unlike with my Sony's, I have to shut down the capture window completely because if I don't, it will actually crash Premiere. So if I, sh if I shut the camera off, or if I change it from camera to playback, or if I plug or unplug the DV port while this capture window is open it will actually crash the program and that doesn't happen with my Sony gear which is kind of interesting anyway I just figured I would point that out that uh, this is an old version of Premiere I'm running I'm running CS6 under Windows 7 on this dedicated editing computer that I'm using so I've never needed to upgrade because it does everything that I need to do but I think I should point that out that uh, with this camcorder for some reason on my computer anyway if I don't close that window down and I hot plug or unplug it will actually crash the uh, software for example I just plugged it back in if I bring up my capture window it should uh, fire up here am I playing back still I think I am oh it stopped the camera let's go back into playback but if I unplug this thing hot and then try to plug it back in again, it's going to crash for sure. See, I've got playback going now, but nothing's happening on the computer. I can't even close down the capture window. See, if I try to close the capture window and then Premiere crashes. So any work that I had done, I would have lost. So keep that in mind. <laughs> that doesn't happen with any of my Sony gear, but it certainly does with this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.